Hey everybody, I'm Cole Holland, and in today's video we're going to go over 10 Mike Stern concepts. I recently did a transcription of his solo on Straight Note Chaser, so we'll be using that as lesson material. We're going to go over chord concepts, chromaticism, diminished patterns, force and chordal licks, extended turnarounds, interval leaping, ascending scale licks, blues licks, bebop lines, and the length of his lines. Let's dig in. <laughs> One of Mike Stern's most useful tools that he uses in his playing style, taking a note and pedaling on that note, in this case C, and interchanging other notes and chords beneath it. So we'll go between F and E flat, and then a G7 sus voicing into an A flat chordal voicing. A very recognizable line in Mike Stern's playing. We have two versions. The minor third version. Major third version. Going into other lines in arpeggios. E diminished arpeggio. Major third version. C half whole, then minor third version. Intertwining diminished and chromatic patterns together, we're going to approach G minor here, C whole half, chromatic, F sharp half whole, with chromatic approach. Taking something simple, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, adding some chromatic color to it. Chromatically approaching C, Chromatically approaching B flat. Half whole diminished patterns, whole half diminished patterns, diminished arpeggios. Mike Stern utilizes these a lot in his solos. We're going to look at a line right after that chromatic thing we saw earlier. He hits that C and then he'll descend C half whole diminished. Resolving on the third of F, taking us back home. So really straightforward uses of diminished ideas. You can think F sharp half hole at the end there, or more simply, G melodic or harmonic minor sound. Now I'm coloring the five chord, E diminished arpeggio, five seven flat nine, up a whole step. F sharp diminished arpeggio, just a five diminished. Back to B flat diminished, five seven flat nine again. Resolving. Combining two diminished approaches together, very similar to what we saw in the chromatic section. Except we're gonna take out that little bit of chromatic approach at the end and go just straight A half whole diminish. E flat whole half. A half whole. The coolest fourth riff in the song for sure, coming out of the C whole tone riff. We're on C, go up a fourth to F. Down a minor third to D, D, B flat, A flat, like a B flat seven sound. Up a fourth from A flat to D flat or C sharp. And then C sharp, B, F sharp, E. So the same shape on guitar, right? Just moves. Then E to A, down a whole step, fourths. D, G, F, the same shape again. So F, C, B flat. Up a fourth from B flat to E flat, resolving on A flat. Beginning with an F sharp half whole approach to G minor with our flat nine chromatic idea we learned. Except resolve on that flat nine, now do a major third chromatic line that we learned. 
Now descend D flat melodic minor from E natural. Passing note back into the scale. If we hit that C, major third chromatic line again. Into F Dorian. E flat major seven. Now ascend in triads. G minor triad. A flat triad. A triad. One big five chord. B flat. B. Hitting a high A flat. Interval leap ideas. We're going to be around one scale here, just F mixolydian. So keep that in mind. We'll have a four major seven sound as opposed to a four dominant sound. And notice how he chooses bigger interval leaps, and as the phrase comes to an end, smaller interval leaps. So starting on the one, just an E flat triad. Going to the four, a nice six there, F to D, G to A, A to C, a nice third there, like a four major seven with a nine. Back on the one, six to seven, off this A, third, then a fifth. Keep using fifths. Fifth. Fifth, fourth, third. Now into the two chord, a six, two minor seven eleven kind of sound. If you want to think about it like that, on the five now, here's the third, then six to seven. Now still coloring the five chord, like a five seven nine sharp four, and then the third up the scale, another five seven uh, triad, third then sharp four, nice six here taking this out. There at the end there. Ascending scale licks with the usage of arpeggios and triads. Great way to begin a phrase, to throw it in the middle of a phrase, and to kind of get the ball rolling on some phrases. So easy way to think about this is a scale-based approach ending with an arpeggio. So we'll think F mixolydian scale going into an E flat Lydian arpeggio. Think Dorian into major 7th arpeggio now, so G Dorian into a F major 7 arpeggio. In the extended turnaround section you saw this line, it's the same thing now just starting on F. F Dorian to E flat major 7. So Mike Stern came up as like a blues rock player and then got immersed in jazz when he got to Berkeley and the rest is history. So you hear a lot of these lines in his playing. Right, going back into the jazz vocabulary, but the F minor pentatonic thing is all over that. Incorporating some bends as well. Heavy bends, flat three to four, and then four to five, and then come back down on the B string, down a half step, same thing from A, and the quintessential blues riff with bends, bend up to the flat seven. Bebop lines in Mike Stern's playing. A really big part of his playing for sure. You can tell he's listened to a lot of sax players and whatnot. Um, really bringing out chord tones and diminished approaches, all that stuff. It's right there in the beginning. F sharp half full approach to G minor. Going to like a four minor sound, resolving back on the one. F mixolydian, back into F sharp half full into two. C mixolydian. Five mixed lane to take us home.
finally, the length of Mike Stern's lines. He can take very melodically and harmonically beautiful ideas and go for like 10, 20, 30 plus bars. So let's look at some F mixo ideas first. Into a C minor major seven sound. Back to F mixo. Same line down a whole step. Down a whole step again. Our minor, uh, chromatic minor third line we learn. Going to F. Into F sharp half hole. Now into our ascending diminished line. F diminish if you like to. So we're gonna take it up in half steps. Half step up. Half step up. Half step up. Hit that E and our E diminish. Arpeggio. Half step. Half step. Back down to E. All the way up. <laughs> 